A very useful knot is a fisherman's knot. It's the knot we use to attach fishing line to fishing hooks, but this is scaled up so that we can see what's going on. And all you do is run it either through the eye of the hook or around a post, wrap around several times. I normally do this about six times if I'm putting a fishing line on because it's so much thinner, and then run the line through the gap and pull it tight. That slides along, and the, the harder it's pulled, the tighter the knot gets, which means it can be really difficult to undo. If we want to make a knot that won't slip, a good one is the climber's knot, the figure eight. Firstly, make a figure eight shape in the rope. This goes around the object you'd like to tie to, adjust it, and then follow around. So the remaining line follows the original figure eight all the way around. And you end up with a very neat figure eight shaped knot, which can be backed up with a stopper knot, which takes up any spare rope you have. This is an extremely strong knot. This is why it's used to attach climbers to their ropes. And the real advantage as well is that it won't slip. If you don't have to thread this knot through anything, you can achieve the same result by simply forming a figure eight in the doubled up rope. That's a knot that won't slip and you can just put it over anything and it'll hold it firm. If you need to lash two pieces of wood together, the most secure way is firstly, tie a slip knot around one piece of wood. This is just our starting point. Then, we begin by first wrapping one way and then the other. And you can do this very neatly and it gives you a lot more space to work with. So once we've wrapped around a few times, we can tension the whole thing up by wrapping the cord around the middle section. This really helps to pull everything into tension. And then the whole lot can be tied off. Either with a permanent knot or a quick release one. The A to Z of Bushcraft is now out on DVD. Support the series www.azbushcraft.com